The British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is admitted to hospital for tests 10 days after testing positive for coronavirus. Americans are told to brace for what could be the hardest week of their lives, but the president says there is hope. Things are happening. We're starting to see light at the end of the tunnel. And hopefully in the not too distant future, we'll be uh, very proud of the job we all did. And lights out in India in a show of solidarity against COVID-19, but there's criticism not enough is being done to help those most in need. And Spain has reported its lowest number of daily deaths linked to coronavirus for more than a week. The latest figures show nearly 700 people died, taking the total to 12,400. The country has just over 130,000 confirmed cases, the second highest in the world after the US. Sweden's king has urged people to stay at home over the Easter holidays in a bid to curb the spread of the virus. The Swedish government has been criticised for its softer measures to combat the disease. The Colombian army has stepped up security along the border with Ecuador, which has reported one of the highest number of cases of the disease in Latin America. Extra troops were deployed at dozens of illegal crossings. And a tiger at a zoo in New York has tested positive for the coronavirus. The four-year-old female named Nadia is thought to have contracted the virus from a keeper at the Bronx Zoo who didn't have any symptoms. She is one of several big cats there who have recently developed a dry cough. Nadia is thought to be the first animal to test positive for the coronavirus in the US. Now, millions of people in India have followed the Prime Minister's plea to switch off and light up candles for nine minutes in a show of solidarity during the coronavirus crisis. But government critics have been quick to dismiss the movement, saying there's an urgent need to assist the country's poor. The victory of light over darkness. Prime Minister Modi's message during India's battle against COVID-19. The country of 1.3 billion people were urged to light candles or torches at 9pm for nine minutes, a show of national unity. But government critics say it was nothing but a picture opportunity for the Prime Minister, who is under increasing pressure to do more, especially for the country's poor. India is in the grip of a strict 21-day lockdown. Almost all shops, including large factories, have closed, leaving workers on a daily wage with no source of income. The Prime Minister has announced a $22 billion package to assist the poor, but many fear the financial aid won't go far enough or come quick enough. There are now more than 3,500 confirmed cases of the coronavirus in India. Almost 100 people have died. There are fears the numbers will rise significantly. But for many people on the lowest of incomes, their greatest fear is starvation and having no work to go back to after the lockdown.